Today I'd like to do a short video about sleeping bags and just different um, aspects of the bags that I have and what I choose at different times of the year to carry. Uh, I'd like to talk about a couple of different uh, ideas for bags, that is um, down bags versus synthetic bags and then quilts. So I'd like to start with the first bag that I use in the, in the very dark of winter and the coldest parts of the year and that is a Sierra Designs uh, six degree bag. It is, uh, this six degree bag is very heavy. As you can see, it's filled with down. Uh, I think it's a 900 feel, uh, but a great bag. It has a good baffle system in it uh, and a hood on it. The, the downside of carrying a, a very thick down bag like this is of course weight and compactability. You can't really get it in your backpack. You can't compact this down with all this down too far um, and it takes up a good portion of your pack when you try to put it in. So unless it's really, really cold, I'm not going to take a six degree bag. But there have been times that I've taken a six degree bag because I just felt like that I wanted to be comfortable and in the this uh, Sierra Designs bag, it is the wide and the long and because it's wide you can move around and being a side sleeper I like to twist and turn at night so having the wide and the long really is helpful for that again the downside is it's just not very easily compacted in your bag so it takes up a good portion of your space so unless it's really really cold this bag is probably out uh, years ago I guess 10 years ago I was able to pick up this um, older mountain hardware 600 fill and down bag at a sale a going out of business sale of uh, a store uh, local to my area uh, and it had a rip in it and so I would say 10 years ago I still after buying this 10 maybe 12 years ago I still have this bag and it just says a lot for the um, durability of mountain hardware as well as uh, the lifespan of them because I still use this bag. It's a 20 degree bag and it's a little more compactable. Um, and again, I got it just at a super cheap price because it had a little rip in it and I was able to uh, get my mother who's a master sewer to uh, sew it back up for me. Uh, but again, this is the, I guess it's called the Pewit uh, older bag. I'm sure they don't make it anymore, but it is a lot more compactable and this down will come down a lot smaller uh, to get my bag. But still it is, it's still a large uh, bag and, uh, um, but it has served me well over the years. Now, before I was able to get into down bags, I got a synthetic bag. Uh, years ago, I got a North Face bag, but I like to just show you just how some of the older synthetic bags, uh, how hard it is to compact them. This is about as far down as this synthetic bag will go. Now I know now they're making synthetic bags that are a lot easier to compact, um, but again, with a 20 degree bag, uh, this 20 degree bag in the synthetic uh, is still very heavy. And that is one of the downsides of having the synthetic. Number one is it's heavy, um, but it is very durable. And when it gets wet, it's still going to hold its uh, its temperature rating because because it's synthetic. You don't have to worry about the down getting wet and then not retaining uh, the ability to stay uh, warm in the back. But as you saw, that is a large. Uh, space in your bag in that stuff sack and you can't compress these down as much as you can the down so what I typically use is this I use a quilt this is the Enlighten Equipment quilt it is a 20 degree bag and it doesn't have the zipper uh, down the side except for the foot box I got um, I did not get the Enigma I got the uh, the other one uh, it just escapes me right now, but the, the, the Enlightened Equipment bag, that, the Revelation, sorry, the Revelation does not have a sewn-in box. It's a little lighter, but what it does have is 
a draw cinch, cinch side at the bottom that you can cinch the bottom up so that you don't get a draft in the feet. But still, there is typically sometimes a little draft in the bottom. But it zips up all the way to the foot box, and then it has these great, um, these great um, ties around that you can put around your um, sleeping pad to keep it from getting a draft underneath you at night. So you simply take the pad and you uh, cinch it down to the sides. It has two little places at the bottom so you can cinch it a little further. And then at different areas, you can clip it in under your sleeping bag, under your sleeping pad at, at two places. And then you can cinch it up really tight to keep it, uh, to keep all the draft from getting in and the air to getting in under your pad. So I'll show you what it looks like with the pad. The, the last pad I'd like to show you is an, it's simply my summer sleeping bag, which is a Costco blanket, or I got mine at Bed Bath & Beyond. But it is simply a down blanket that you can get at Bed Bath & Beyond for 10 bucks. And I gave it to my mother, who was a master sewer, and she was able to sew in a foot box around the bottom, sewn in there, and just taking this blanket and sew, sew me in a foot box. It has no zipper and no attachments. I simply, in the summer, can use it uh, for maybe down to about uh, 50 degrees or, or maybe even 45, I would say 50 degrees. But it's a good, very easily compactable down blanket that in the summertime, when you don't need anything for warmth, you can throw this in your bag and it just feels like you have nothing at all. And lastly, let me show you how the quilt works and then all right, so I wanted to show you before I ended this video, basically what my go-to um, sleep system looks like, and that is using the Enlighten Equipment Revelation quilt. It's simply a 20 degree quilt. I got the, the wide and the long with the foot box that's sewn in and the cinch cords that keep, the, uh, that, that keep it from getting a draft in the bottom. But if it's warmer, you can open that up and you can undo the cinch side there and you can even unzip this to make a, a simple quilt that just folds out like a blanket but what you do is like I have the neo thermal rest um, pad these these uh, underneath you have these two um, these two different um, attachments that keep the pad around you and you simply buckle them like, like so. Well, if I can get it to buckle, like that. And then you're buckled in. You do it at two different points, and that keeps the pad underneath you. Your feet, your feet are, are above the pad and comes out like this. And then you simply can pull uh, the pad over your head. You snap it here, like so. You snatch it, snap it. And then you, you get in there and pull your head through here and then put this over you. And then you can cinch it up with a little drawstring here and cinch it up as tight as you want. And with that being said, I've gotten this down, believe it or not, even to 20 degrees and a little bit below 20 degrees and still been very warm. What I like about this is simply the compactability uh, and lighting equipment makes this, these wonderful baffles and the down is so soft and can compact down to almost nothing. And so with this system, it takes up very small volume in my pack and I'm able to use it in just about any situation. So much more uh, versatile than say one of my larger down bags or certainly the synthetic because the synthetic just won't compact down much at all. There are, are other lighter options and smaller options. Um, this is just simply what I've gone with. Um, I like your comments below of things that you use uh, that may be a better system than, than what I'm using. Um, but these are just different options. Uh, when I'm in the summer though, in the winter, I'm usually typically using the alight equipment down. But in the summer, I'm usually simply using uh, a Bed Bath & Beyond or Costco blanket that we've sewn in a foot box to. Uh, anyway, that's my sleeping system and my choices for sleeping systems. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, subscribe and uh, like or comment. Let me know what your system's like. Anyway, thanks for watching.